<laughs> Immediately. Hello. Hey, it's a Sorcerer King stream. Scott is uh, taking some notes, which you can't see because I don't have the cameras on because I'm a terrible person. It's Not that fine. you would see it anyway. Uh, but he's taking some notes on an even higher tech uh, pen and pencil solution <laughs> than he normally has. Uh, uh, good times. Yes. So anyway, indeed. it's Wednesday, and so we are streaming some Sorcerer King. Hooray! Yep. Um, and I didn't even set up the cameras beforehand, so I'm the worst host. Can you put it right here, right there? You're so needy. Okay, that's right. It's right between the resources and the buttons. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be playing the whole game ducking down. Uh, so. you, you and your I'm excuses. needy, I know. Needing to see the UI and game excuses. to play it. Excuses. Tell me. Uh, and logic and tactical. <laughs> so, no, Sky's just taking notes on uh, on some of the stuff we were talking about before the stream started. I'm kind of running around with my head cut off. I didn't. I usually get up to the streaming room a couple minutes beforehand. But uh, Do you have a game coming out next week or I something? I have a game coming out next yeah. week. Uh, so, yeah, the um, that, that whole Galsiv thing that you may have heard it's about. Galactic Civilization 3 launches next week, May 14th. We're very excited. But there's a lot of marketing and promotion and things to uh, attend to with it. So that's kind of been uh, uh, taking all of my time and then some. Everybody's. Um, we actually lost a few SK developers, too. Oh, did you? Yeah. Hurts. But Gal Civ 3 is going to be great because of it. I can't wait. That's right. For it's that. already like the team has made so much progress in the last month. It yeah. blows my mind sometimes. But game development's like that. Like you get to the point where yeah. everything's kind of slotted into place and then it's like, okay, now. It's amazing to see on the development side when you get to that point where it's just like, bam, bam, bam. Like things are going in and, you know, oh crap, we got to fix this and it gets fixed and suddenly something, you know, you're just making leaps and bounds uh, when it's all hands on deck. So Indeed. Indeed. I forgot to introduce us. I'm Adam. Oh. He's Scott. <laughs> By the way. It's, uh, it's, we're being super professional today is basically what's happening. Uh, the <laughs> chat, somebody, uh, Satoru says that we look like twins. So that's Do exciting. We? Although I feel like my beard is more majestic. <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't shaved in a while. You have not? You're a little scruffier than you I, are. I'm so lazy. Well, you shave stuff. your beard a bit more than I do, though. Like You shave down, like the, down to the chin <laughs> strap on the sides where I just kind of <laughs> let my natural you uh -huh. know, majesty happen. Uh, which works pretty well. I do shave off the neck fungus. I hate the neck fungus. I really want to just take a clip. I, I want to take any clip from our original streams or we're talking about the game like the whole time to like now where it's like, what are your shaving preferences, Adam? Uh, it's all good. But well, we got, so, also we got duck armor. Yeah, and duck armor. Uh, we got a good internal build to show off um, just because... Uh, the, we lost a couple of guys to Galsiv 3. Doesn't mean SK doesn't move on. Indeed. Uh, lots of bugs got fixed. Um, the raised lower land scrolls that... Um, that you that promised. Were, yes. You promised I promised as... several times to show on the stream. <laughs> Turns out, even off the stream, they don't work. So uh, I got that fixed. Um, a lot of AI logic and tactical dealing with uh, Trogs casting battle cry even when there's nobody around to see the effect. Uh, Darklings just zipping off um, shadow... Uh, shadow shifting all over the place. Shadow shifting all over the place. So now they'll actually uh, try to get into a... Or they'll... If they're in a position uh, where they're surrounded by a couple of their teammates, they'll shadow shift to bring a guy into... Bring an enemy into uh, uh, range to get whacked on. Um, so just more lo more logic and reasoning going on there. More whacking is what more is all whacking. I heard. That's all I heard out of that entire <laughs> spiel. Uh, all right, so yeah, we have the one question in the chat so far, which is, uh, where, where uh, please like? show the raised lower land scroll. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we, I don't know if you have a save ready to like. Show I can, you know, I'll, I'll just do that now. I, I understand the need for uh, proof. <laughs> We're all skeptics here. We all That's adhere fine. to the scientific method. Here, okay. Uh, I'll do that, and then what we're gonna do. I didn't ask Exploraminate. Should I have asked him? <laughs> uh, I've awesome. been talking back and forth with Devil Dog, uh, Werewolf X, Exploraminate. Um, I don't. I'm trying to see if he's in the chat. Is he in the chat right now? I don't see him in the chat right uh -oh. now. So, oh man. Well, I got to make the call. That's okay. He'll have a little present waiting for him. <laughs> later. Um, I uh, I grabbed a save game of his. He's been doing this really cool uh, Let's Play series. 
and um, he got to a point where I really wanted to look and see what was going, what the AI has been doing. Um, and so I have that save game, and we're gonna play a little bit of that and see how we fare because I think his his game didn't fare too well. Uh-huh. Um, and I want to see if we can fare better. But uh, I'm, I'm all for I need losing. to. I, I always feel like losing is fun. I was making. You need to lose. I mean, you need to lose once in a while. You do. You'd... You know, I was making a, a video. Next. I was recording a video for Servo, which uh, just came out in, Sur- in Founders Alpha uh, on 4:30, so uh, a week ago. Um, and I was making this video and, you know, I'm just, it's kind of a, le- it was kind of a let's play, like kind of just, uh, talking through the tutorial, introducing the game concepts, that kind of thing. And, uh, and I lost because, mm-hmm. uh, well, because it's alpha and balance is all over the place for one thing. Um, and for another thing, because I'm not that good at servo yet. And, <laughs> uh, I was trying to talk and record a video while I was doing it. And it's as, hard, as isn't can- it? <laughs> it's freaking hard. I was say, as you can attest, that's not always the easiest thing in the world. So. Hey, look at look that. Look at that. Hey. Roll. That does stuff. Woohoo. Hey. Anyways. Look, I'm out. Do I have to prove the other one too? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Gee. Insatiable. <laughs> so, anyway, so I lost and I got some crap internally because, uh, like, oh, oh well, no. you should show, you should show that you, you should show a game that you win because that, that like proves that the game is winnable. And mm-hmm. I was like, ah. I don't know. No, like, I, what do you, I mean, I don't know. Chat, what do you think? What do you guys think? What's, uh, there's got to be that difficulty. Like, I remember talking to um, John Schaefer just about game design. Who's and the, the designer of Civilization Five. Yeah, designer of uh, uh, At the Gates. At the Gates. At the Gates. Um, working on At the Gates right now. Yes. Uh, but his, um, his thing was, you know, always start off with the antagonist. Figure out what your adversary is, whether it's, you know, an adversary, you know, is the world your adversary? You know, what, what is, what are you up against? Yeah. Uh, because that has to be interesting. I mean, even like Disney movies, like they focus a lot of their time on making sure the, the bad guy is interesting because yeah. without a bad guy, there's really no story. And yeah. so that's why it's more fun to play a game where losing is always, you know, something that could happen totally uh ilana one of our longtime uh forum community stream members uh whose support we definitely appreciate says uh that losing is something that should happen and so are we going to make a freaking hardcore mode and i think by hardcore he means iron man i i've been I, asking for forever i totally I, want I brought it up to brad he said he wants it but other things have to happen first okay um so it's it's not like first thing on the priority Maybe list, not a 1.0 thing. Well, yeah, a 1.0. but I guess I don't know. I, I I don't know what your production schedule looks like. I don't know. I we but. we need to sit once Gal Civ three is down. Uh, me, Chris Bray, Brad, probably Derek, um, probably you will sit down, um, and just figure out what what we need to do to sure. bring the promise of Sorcerer King to fruition, and that um. I think a lot of that has to do with replayability, making sure that each game, you know, it's a 4X roguelike RPG. Every game should feel a little bit different. It should. I should never be able to go, oh, you know, I, I do this, 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 and this, and I win. Sure. It should always have a little element of, okay, oh, I didn't expect that. What should I do now? So. Totally. Okay. Uh, some interesting comments in the chat. Uh, Alstein, who's another longtime forum guy, who we appreciate his support, uh, says that losing is fun and that Iron Man can be handled with player discipline, and he would consider it low priority okay. because it is. I mean, it is kind of something where, you know, it's not. It doesn't. You're from a coding standpoint, you're literally taking an option away from the player instead of. Uh, you know, adding some yeah. content. So it's hard. And, and that's always, you know, the game development triage problem, right? Because it's like, is it better to spend our time putting in hardcore mode or in spending more time on the tactical AI? Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, that's that's the problem. It's like, yeah. what's going to benefit more of our players? I guess the, the real surprise for me when it comes to like an Iron Man mode is uh, I was watching, um, it was a postmortem talk on the design of XCOM. I think it was sure. the new XCOM, and they I were. Was, I know there was a video of that going around. Okay. Recently, so. uh, and they were surprised. Um, they put in Iron Man mode, um, and had some, uh, and hooked it up to their stat keeping stuff, and were blown away by how many people played 
that mode. Well, uh, they that thought it was going to be they thought it was going to be the hardcore one percent, and right. it turned out that it was like sixty percent of the the players. That game is so made for Iron Man, though. Yeah. Like, that is the perfect game for Iron Man. That and like sure. Dwarf Fortress, because yeah. if you save some Dwarf Fortress, you are the worst kind of. Person. <laughs> uh, but there is something to be said for that. You know, just not even having that option. No, I love it. I like as a player, changes. I love it. Every choice that you make. Absolutely. I totally love it. Because even though I don't really save scum mm -hmm. much, I do, I, I'll admit to save scumming from time to time. I, yeah. But I hate I, it. I, I hate it, but I'll do it. And I, I, I totally do. It's like, <laughs> I what, feel do you mean that, what do you mean he crit, he crit yeah. my hero? Come on. <laughs> that obviously was just bad RNG. That, right. was, that was not a strategic win <laughs> right. on the AI's part. Right. Which, so. But, but it is, it is kind of. <laughs> There, there's something to be said for having to live and die by the whims of the RNG. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. We had a, a comment from the CW, who is another one of our longtime uh, members. Uh, I want a combination of hardcore and Iron Man where heroes don't resurrect when they die and you can't save without any Oh, man. Uh, see, I'm all for it. I like, <laughs> I like difficult games. Yeah. So, like, I'm totally for it. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, so we got exploring. Okay, it's, yeah. Uh, Speaking game. of hard games... Um, we now see that the Doomsday Counter is working. He's uh, <laughs> it's definitely working. 130 turns in, and which seems like it should be about right. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't turns. know what happened though. So report. Uh, oh, a couple. Oh, you know, okay, three shards blown up. A couple of shards. There's only three of five on threat. I. This is somebody was requesting a Doomsday. Uh, tick log that basically j was just a text dump oh. of like doomsday went up because of this doomsday went down because oh, of this i'd be kind of interesting right now that's a great suggestion <laughs> <laughs> um so he he just got a uh a city taken out okay um but he still and has shard, he still sucks. has three yeah right now he's down to one shard Ugh. uh so my options are limited um he does not have lower doomsday okay so or the mana to cast it anyway uh that's true, um, but he does ha actually. He's swimming in resources. We should be able to pump out enough oh, okay. minor mana, mana potions, potions to deal with sure. that. Uh, but actually, learning the spell is a concern of mine right now because it it takes a fair amount of research, and with only one shard, that's I be don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with that. However, my main main concern is this shard right here will tip us over the edge. Um, and oh, I that's think actually that, trigger Endgate, or and trigger I think that this, yeah, this group right here will take that, that is out. A nasty group, man, and it's just uh, just those paradin Spells. idiots over there. It's you don't just, have a dude. They no, and you can't cast like pillar of flame or whatever in his in his territory. <sighs> I don't think so. I don't even have that yet. Can you cloud walk oh, to his fire. territory that, if they're allied? That's what I was thinking. I cannot, okay. but I want that, so I added it. <laughs> To the, uh, when you ally with a miner, oh. their territory should count as yours for casting Dude, spells. You leveled up your you leveled up your whole bug reporting system. Oh yeah, we're in Notepad plus no. plus now. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> yeah, another another couple months. We're gonna be in Sublime text by the time we actually launch. It's gonna be incredible. Uh, so, um, <laughs> yes, that would be nice. That isn't an option right now though. So I, oh, I need I need bad. your help. I. So, okay, so you can't cloud walk over there. I mean, what do you have Fire for, right like, Can dudes? Do... Like, where where are your big armies at is oh. the question. Oh. oh, well. That's the first <sighs> crash. Have we ever had? I think we've had one other crash. Possibly. Uh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, sorry, guys. Well, it's also, like, loading a save from, I don't think you want to play servo. Oh. I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. No, you don't, actually, because we're not uh, showing screens or video right now, so you definitely don't want to play Servo. Okay. Um, you should play Sorcerer King instead. Yeah, I should. Anyway. Got, any, <laughs> what the hell? I oh, wonder, I do worry, um, you know, we've made enough changes where I get worried with these save game files. What? I'm laughing at the chat. No, no, finish your thought. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what my thought was now. <laughs> All right. Uh, so anyway, so we were we were loading. I mean, we're playing a save game that was on the public branch, and we're on an internal build. And that yeah. that's I mean, that's never anything that we test for, basically, unless we're actually pushing out a new beta and, yeah. or a new a new public patch, and we're concerned oh. about breaking saves. Internal, um, yeah. Internal builds are tricky like that. They are so. tricky, and I mean, this is not a build that has seen QA. Right oh, at this yeah, point, yeah, exactly. so so anyway, just okay. just to give that disclaimer. Let's but anyway. try that. Well, I am gonna try that again. Wrath of Fire. Okay, yeah, that was a that was a weird crash. Can't be crash. can't be you cast on desert train. I'm 
All right. I just, I had our cameras on. Anyway, um, <laughs> Antediluvian Ark, uh, who is, I think, relatively new to the stream. Welcome. Oh, uh, if a trog cast battle cry in a forest and no one is, is around to hear it, uh, <laughs> then what happens? That's a good question. We'll have to ruminate on that, as it were. Uh, we're not dropping frames today, by the way. Thank goodness. Oh, excellent. Oh, my God. I was about to throw this. You were the angry I yesterday. I was really I angry felt, last week. I felt bad for I you, was... but scared for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was the only other person in the room, and... I well, thought you were gonna the technology was going to feel my wrath before you were. That's oh. for sure. Uh, <laughs> Alstein says, I think changing the game code to suit what you want is one step above save, save scum. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I was laughing at. It, 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 is, it is us play testing, <laughs> and we're trying to find... No, it's, <laughs> it's bull crap. I know. I don't know. I think it's cool, though, because it, it adds another reason to ally with your, yeah, with your allies. Because right. otherwise, you feel kind of punished that like this shard is getting owned, and you have no way to go yeah, deal with that. Right? Exactly. So like, I need to of, be able to jump in here and... I think I, it shouldn't just be Cloudwalk. I think it should be like any like any spell that considers territory. Like absolutely. Zoc, yeah. should yep. include yeah, allied You're Zoc. allied. Yep. I uh, agree. So so we'll fix that. But we are... To our hyper <coughs> I don't. I don't know what to do. century note-taking. <sighs> Um, hunting grounds it's not <laughs> so all right uh Summer cw Zora, says tireless march tutelage. cw says riders are still way overpowered you can win the final battle battle with just an army of riders with lots of initiative good armor and lots of blizzard scrolls um that's an interesting point are do they have too much initiative scott i think that initiative is, is the source of like 80 percent of our balance problems but that's just a drum that i'm gonna, not going to stop banging. yeah it's i think that there are too many things that can boost that to kind of ridiculous levels. It's too, yeah, I mean, aspect of speed and like yeah. the, the um, cedarwood oil and isn't there there? I think it's a summon book enchant. Yeah, that has a plus one initiative. It's one of the, it's yeah, there, there's lots one of, of the like book lots enchants. of stuff that. So, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, do you want to build? Me. Says he's new here. Uh, welcome to the stream. Are you two guys related? We are not. We're both just kind of balding and bearded. <laughs> And white, uh, so which is you know so white, which is really we are anomalous among game developers. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. All game developers are related. No but... game developers are balding, bearded, and white. <laughs> I can guarantee you that we are the only ones. Uh, <laughs> is this uh, Alstein says he thinks it's a combo of an, of plus init being able to uh, or of initiative. Plus being able to one shot, I think he meant to type one shot anyway, uh, many units. <laughs> I can, um... <laughs> uh, which, which seems legit. And especially like Blizzard Scrolls are, I mean, Blizzard Scrolls are super powerful yeah. for sure. Um, so that might be something that needs to be looked at just in terms of like, if you can bring six or eight of them to that final battle and you get to yeah. go before they go, you're, you're just going mean, to yeah. wipe out most of his army. Yeah. So that's, that's maybe uh, something to think about. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. That's a rough one. The the whole item, being able to just hoard items. Right. Man. Right. I mean, maybe maybe Blizzard Scrolls just need to be harder to make. You know, maybe they maybe push them up a gem class or something. Shh. You know, push them up to rare gems. Dumb idea. I'm throwing it out there. I lo- I love should, they, should they take a Sovereign cast? No, because then if they take a Sovereign cl- cast, then they sh- just shouldn't be a scroll, in my opinion. You need to talk to the keepers, by the way. They're available. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping to be able to talk to Parrot in four days. So in four oh. days, I can talk to them. Okay. I if they go for that God, shard, so, I mean, they are in so much trouble. Let's see. Control Shift S. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> CW says the enchantment that gives plus fourteen initiative is ridiculous. Is there something that gives plus fourteen? I think that's haste. Oh, but so, that's a, that's a cast though. That's a not cast, an isn't it? That's a. I mean, I thought so. I don't know. I'll have to see if there's another way that you can... Some Sometimes there's spells that are also abilities. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I really... I thought that haste was just... Was a cast. Just a spell book so cast. Yeah, combat, so you're yeah. you're making the choice. You know, Which that's it a, should be. I mean, because, yeah. yeah. It's also plus 14 is a lot. Um, yeah. So haste is probably too good anyway. But uh, anyway, that's that's why we balance. That's why we beta. Um, so, all right. What are you going to do? Where are your I big armies? So here's my question. Because I see you have two big hero armies. I this so where are they at? <laughs> this town has a former mayor. <laughs> well, so a paladin or something. They have there. a paladin right there. We're going to send Not the that paladin that's gonna back. Actually, 
Well, they're, it's like it's a pretty high level town, so yeah. it's like that's some I got militia. these guys, but they. Yeah, they. I need to cloud walk back here. Yeah, you probably do. Okay. Do you have the mana? Or is cloud walk's only like ten? Yeah, it's not okay. bad. That's not that bad. Uh, was this game inspired by the Lord of the Rings board game by Reiner Knizia? Uh, no, it was not. Although that's a co- if it's the one I'm thinking of, uh, that was pretty sweet. Was that like one of the first co-op board games? I want to say of the like the new wave of co-op board games. I think I, it was. I, um, I remember playing that in, amusingly enough, my mom's basement. <laughs> uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of, but it's very much a co-op versus a game, and there's yeah. kind of a doom counter and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, not really a direct inspiration, but certainly, uh, you know, we are. I think Brad, when he was uh, initially designing the game, was certainly had that sort of thing in mind. Whether or not he was thinking specifically of uh, the that particular board game. Um, but I mean, co-op board games are a lot of fun and a lot of us have played a lot of co-op board games. So certainly that's uh, uh, not something that we haven't thought of if I can be allowed to phrase things really poorly. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it was more like... Um, it's magic. You know, the actual place where it came out of was in the previous Stardock for, uh, Fantasy 4X, Legendary Heroes, the thing that everybody pretty much you you know across the board liked the best was that sort of initial phase of the game where you're going out and you're exploring the world and you're killing monsters and you're going into wildlands and and you know you're fighting the map basically yeah. right before you get into the empire conflict where you're fighting other players and so this was uh, sorcerer king is the idea is to kind of spread that to turn that into its own game by making the map really hostile and more interactive, you know, with the Sorcerer King attacking you and that kind of stuff. And it's still being, you know, asymmetrical, but then bringing in all these other RPG elements to it. Right. And so we, uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of more the direct inspiration for Sorcerer King, I think, Um, because it does take place in the elemental universe and it is a, spin-off of sorts. I don't, it's not really a sequel because it's, it's a different kind of game even though it's related. It's more of a, it's a branch off the tree, right? Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's kind of where it came from. You look like you have something you want to talk about. No. no. Okay, I'm, 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 so, I'm so nervous for these next few turns. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be even better if it was hardcore. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to make a cut. Co- Speaking of Blizzard Scrolls being OP, I'm going to just crank out a couple... I think that's an excellent idea. And a couple of... Oh, the crafting screen looks so much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. New crafting screen. I don't think that was in last week, was it? Ooh. No. We need more trumpet. See, I need a soundboard. I need a soundboard <laughs> was, so I can play with, trumpet sounds. And with, like, like, audience laughter. Oh, and yeah. And like, like... Boo. Oh, yeah. And, like, sand trombone. <laughs> like... Wah, wah. And ideally, yakety sax to throw in, Always. like, whenever you, whenever you screw up one of your, uh, <laughs> like, don't build on a shard, shrine, don't build a shard shrine or something. Yeah. Just play yakety sax. But I really need it to be, like, over loudspeakers in the room to really get the full effect. Yeah. Because we don't have a local, like, monitor. So this is going to be a hard right. game to f- play. <laughs> I'm trying to distract <laughs> you. It didn't work very well. <laughs> So, uh, do your thing, Scott. Come okay, on. fireball. I have faith in you. Couple of fireball hey, scrolls. Hey, hey. Now that Ray's scroll ro- works, I tried that you can't already. Can't block them off with no. it. Oh. I know. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, oh I fixed it. So I can perfect. use it. No, oh, and I don't think it would work anyways because this is technically not not my your territory, territory. Which you need to fix. If I, I'm telling. Yeah, well, there's right. nothing cheesy about that suggestion. You Excellent. suggested it before you knew that I wanted it. That's true. So it so doesn't it count just, as cheating. And plus, we're always <laughs> we are seriously always looking for ways to entice players to uh, engage with the crafting system, engage yeah. with the spell en- system, like engage with the be... the minor races. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, the minors for sure. Like yeah. the I mean, the idea is that one of my problems with Sorcerer King right now, and we'll get into this when we start doing some of those. And once Galsiv is out the door, and we do some oh, of these internal so. reviews, is that like the cool buttons that you have? You we give the players a lot of cool buttons to push, but we don't necessarily present them super well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's really easy to just kind of skip over harvest forest yeah. and <laughs> raise land and like yeah. all that stuff. That's like, we spent all this time and effort to put all this like terraforming stuff in the game. And it's really cool. And then like, it's really easy for people to not use it. Yeah. Which is lame. Yeah. It's, it's hard 
with a 4X because you're just kind of thrown into it. And I know that we we pushed back Enchanting for that reason. Right. You know, made it on an unlock specifically so it was a thing that you got and you want to explore it opposed to, you know, here's a bunch of cool stuff right at turn one and you kind of gloss over it. Right. So, so that's something to think about. But anyway, um, moving on. CW suggests that you use Amulets of Haste. Uh, which are generally speaking pretty boss if you even have the I recipe, don't have which them. you might not. Wait, wait, wait! I did see like a little. Ah, there I you do. Go. Okay. All right. Oh, you can craft a couple of those bad boys. All right, that'll help a lot. Okay. Because also, hey, let's say haste are horrendously overpowered. Nothing should give plus three initiative. That's just like they would still Ooh, be droning. good at plus one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> yeah. kind of the thing with with a lot. Of, you just put that on. Shut the phone, up. Right? <laughs> I <laughs> All right. Tell, I need I need the soundboard. I no, you don't. I it, you would just be <laughs> oh, playing Yakety yeah, Sex constantly. Just put it on loop. Scott's I playing mean, SK. It's <laughs> it's possible that I would go mad with power. Yeah, it's definitely possible. <laughs> okay, Archon. Yes. Oh, I'm out. I, All right. Well, I guess still. I'll take it off the, uh, <laughs> the former mayor. <laughs> the former oh my mayor. God. Hey, are we? Is the uh, the the main menu when not the main menu the main view window for strategic consumables on the list? I believe so. Because Brad yes. asked for that like forever ago, and it's it's never yeah. made it in, and yeah. I want it so bad. Yes. Like I didn't even realize how bad I wanted it because Brad suggested it. I was like, ah, I don't know. That doesn't sound like I would, I would matter that much. Yeah. To me. It's another. And I mean, it's another I'm, one of those cases where we have cool stuff like world world affecting scrolls and stuff. Right. Or, you know, all these potions that you can craft and you got to dig so deep that yep. you yep. never no, you never want the you you never want traversing the UI to be like, oh, I don't want to do that because I don't want to because I don't want to click them right. anytime, which, which is like, oh, the uh, I've been playing uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper mm -hmm. on my phone, which is which is I don't know if it's a good game, but it's a game that I enjoy. <laughs> So, uh, but because, you know, I have a lot of nostalgia for Final Fantasy and stuff, yeah. but like there was this, uh, their UI is so bad. It's all built on, on web view. Um, so it's all like their oh, UI is all like oh, webkit based. Okay. Yeah. Right. And it just sucks. It's so oh. slow. And I understand why they did it because it's, cause you don't have Makes to worry about sad. like device portability and that kind of thing. Yeah. But it's so slow that it's like, there was this event that was actually a pretty cool event where you can like gather stuff and like turn in your shards for whatever. Uh, for loot and it was like it was it was actually a really good like uh, risk versus reward kind of thing and it was a cool designed event and I just refused to do it because the UI was you such know, a pain oh, in the ass because it was so slow it was like literally like 15 seconds to buy I one mean, item with this interface killer. it was just horrible so oh. yeah that's why we need to make sure our interface doesn't feel that way right so and and part of that is like getting the consumables up onto the main menu and that kind of thing um H Shadow Wolf, who I have not seen around the chat before, so uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Uh, says he is not sure if this was asked already, but how do you gain recipes for crafting? And some of our guys in the chat have answered that, but it's worth answering on the stream as well, mm -hmm. I think. You answer that. I'm going to go Excellent. into battle. So. I'm happy to. Uh, so you gain uh, recipes by a number of vectors. The um, You get recipes from questing, so clearing out layers and... Uh, doing quests and stuff and just as, as you know, rewards alongside loot, you can also get recipes. You get them from building certain uh, buildings in your cities, like libraries and jewelers and that kind of thing. You get them from some sovereign skills, like the Tinkerer has uh, some special recipes that only the Tinkerer gets. 16 turns. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, because you're hosed. Mm. But, uh, okay. So you get them from, yeah, so sovereign skills, uh, you get them from... Uh, hero Whoa. skills. What? The? What is going on? Where's all your homies? I thought you put your homies in Athica. I did. Uh oh. Bug. Bug. This put is it on the notepad. Oh man. The notepad plus plus, I should say. Oh man. Um. So, so what did what did I do? Uh, I hero skills. Hero skills. Like Drogon has like some uh, the dwarf. He's like all ice themed, and he has some. Uh, well, at least they're wounded. The mayor's gonna get oh owned. My gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, you do have you have one spell cast. Oh, because you're the no, tinker. No, no. I have. Uh, do you have blizzard scrolls? I think I have my blizzard scrolls. Oh, that's gonna totally save you. Candle cloak sucks. But oh, dude, you can. Yeah. Eh. Oh. Uh -huh. What do I do? 
Man, um, I, these guys already cast their big thing. They right? did. So and yeah, these guys I've are got gonna to, throw boulders yeah, at me. Yeah. So hopefully you can kill them. Ugh. Oh, that was a horrible on. blizzard. Oh. What just happened? Oh, oh man. You, well, shoot him, I guess. Shoot him or in the face. You can fireball him. You can fireball a couple of. You can you can catch. Yeah, that guy. Oh, you are so boned. Um, no, yeah, do that. Um, Rain of arrows. So yeah, Rain of arrows is just as good. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Oh, I should. Oh, oh my God! Man, sometimes the RNG. Oh, the RNG taketh away. Um, you are so hosed. Cue the yakety slit sex. Because <laughs> I don't know. That's totally your fault. Like I, that was pretty it's much what I fault. would have done there. Oh, I should have um, saved. You can summon a wraith with the dark candle there shortly before uh, um, Dingleberry bites it. You can summon an ice elemental if you have the mana for it. Which might 20, be man. useful. Oh, you're so I'd rather I, I'd rather use the item. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, because uh, that has a fireball effect to it. Uh, it's a weak fireball, I think. So yeah, I would kill that guy off. Yeah. Oh, it's a fire elemental. Okay, so oh, but it does the burn thing, so he should die on his turn. He should right? die on his next turn. So right. I'm gonna go over here. Yep. Punch this guy in the face. There you go. All right, all right. You you should live now. Fire elemental is pretty tough. I didn't realize you had a fire elemental scroll. And those guys are wounded. You lose the administrator, which sucks. Whatever. But, I mean, he was always going to die. Yeah. So it's a little he bit of a whatever. Old. Uh, <laughs> Gilmoy suggests that uh, he that we summon a wisp and try to escape, which now, that doesn't really work that way. And I don't think yeah, it, it would. It escaping doesn't work with your, yeah, Escaping <laughs> from your city getting burned to the ground is not really going to do yeah. it. <laughs> so yeah, you might yeah. not have even needed the summon the fire elemental to be honest. I maybe I mean I don't it's know. you don't want to, you also don't want to screw around with losing Ath. Yeah, exactly. So there's that. I I'm more concerned about why I don't have like I summoned Tandis for this. Yeah, that is concerning opportunity. So did he somehow not actually <laughs> garrison on the city? Did he just move onto the tile? And I, I don't, I've seen that happen before. Because if you cloud walked him directly onto the tile, it might have just moved him to the tile to the tile, and not oh yeah, pff, yeah Drogon's gonna yeah. own them. Um, like where is he? He's in the city. He's he right is in the there. city. What the hell? Okay, that's super weird. Bug it. Okay, bug it. Uh, you know I'll watch the stream and you say that. Oh God, and you got uh, Vertrar. You got homeboy showing up. Okay, so this is a cool thing that we added. One of the uh, fixes that we made. Uh, was putting a little bit more control, um, getting a little bit more control over how the AI is targeting shards, because uh, we were having a lot of internal games where, um, you know, 200 turns in. Obviously not with this uh, save, but um, sometimes there would be like a buckshot approach that the AI was using, where it would just randomly, you know, whittle down this one, whittle down this one, never sure. really focus. So. Um, we're trying to uh, fix that. And to do that, we have uh, some AI logic output um, that we can kind of go through. I don't – I guess there's not much to uh, you want, Oh, you want here. me to actually show it? Huh? I can show oh, it. Oh, no, no. You don't You don't have All to. Right. Um, AI code is boring, but – Yeah. I mean, it's not boring. It's it's very interesting, but yeah. it looks boring when you're showing it on a stream. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot of these guys, um, before, they would be assigned with killing the shards but didn't have any tar- – uh, targeted we've uh we fixed a lot of those situations um but what i have to do now is go back over here oh are they gone did they oh did you switch them? back sorry i'm a terrible host i need to actually show you guys the game that we're talking about um 23 okay so uh what i was gonna do is send oh weird the are those city Tiles supposed to still be there? I don't know. That's probably a bug. Though. That's probably a bug. Bug it. Okay. Cool. But I'm playing. I'm actually playing. Now. Oh, but the I land got build. screwed with. The land or got screwed. That's. I mean, whatever. I mean, it do, it doesn't I'll matter post. at this point. Outpost does basically the same thing. I need. I need that. Except I for need. I need. It takes. I suppose it takes uh, logistics. So it's a yeah, little bit yeah, of a problem. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you got I'm doing good. You still got five good. logistics. Yeah. You'll be fine. Um, okay. So these guys are here. Oh, is he actually going to come at me, bro? Uh, if he does, you're probably hosed. Okay. Well, let's so, actually cheat. <laughs> Aw. 
I, How, why I are you cheating to, for? Because I want to show off my, my AI login. Fine, fine. Okay, so I can find... <laughs> fine, no, no, fine, <laughs> find yourself. I'm... <laughs> I won't do it then. It's fine. No, I, I do like I do like showing off the AI, and I do think that you're hosed. So I don't. Yeah, know it's just a little. Uh, okay. I don't want. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Uh, people in the chat giving me a little grief for being promoted to host extraordinaire because uh, that's uh, which you probably haven't seen, Scott. That we have titles now on. Oh, we okay. Have title, oh God, uh, what's my title? Uh, presentation. Uh, I think your title is SK Senior Designer. Okay. So I'll I take should that. I should put something salty in there. That would be funny. No, no, that's. <laughs> It's You're keeping okay legit. Designer. Then, I don't think it's true, but <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, and does host extra- is host extraordinaire like master sergeant where it has a higher rank but carries no increase in pay? <laughs> yeah. And uh, basically, yes. I can tell you that I did not manage to get a raise for myself by giving my by <laughs> declaring myself host extraordinaire. Unfortunately. Um, All right. Juan Jose says, "Is the werewolf guy new? He looks new." I guess I don't know what werewolf guy he's talking about. Um, oh, unless, unless he's maybe talking about you, Scott. <laughs> in your in your beardiness. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> um, oh no, I think the dude with uh, with Vitrar. Oh, the uh, Garot. No, he's um, he's a Garot. Yeah. So oh, weird. No, I think that's a new model though, because Garotes used to be yes. a lot more like Yeti looking. Yeah, actually, we got to play around. Maybe a new texture or yeah. something on yep. it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do I? What do I have to do next? I know you're reading the forums. I don't, or the chat. I don't want to bother you, but <laughs> God, heaven forfend that you bother me while we're screaming, Scott. <sighs> um, let's see. Uh, 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 well, you were going to show off the AI, your AI thing. Oh, it, I, it didn't show, it didn't show what I was hoping it would show. Oh, okay. Never yeah. mind then. So bummer. Uh, let's see. Do the dwarves still fight the guy, fight you, the guys who owned the ice palace? I'm not entirely sure what that means. Um, are they still, I think if you play a game where there's the ice lords and the dwarves, then you can only Pick oh, you only actually ally with one. Yeah, because oh, okay. they're they're mad at each other. Okay, fair enough. They are eternal like enemies. Ah, yes. A, uh, okay. I actually kind of like that. I would almost prefer if we had like pairs, and that's how we would seed it. Yeah, map. I think. But um, I, I guess we don't always seed like strictly for. <coughs> yeah. Depending on map size and stuff, so it um, necessarily work. I'm just gonna keep producing magic. I have a feeling I need a lot of it. I think that's uh, a good idea. I like. I use produce magic actually kind of a lot. In this game, yeah. The order of the four, uh, I, I don't have twenty. You don't I don't have twenty turns. turns. <laughs> I, I gotta survive for three. Shouldn't Athica be building paladins or something? Oh my gosh! Excuse me. Sorry for uh, the yawn. Oh oh oh. No, uh, that's can Drogon take on all he these might. guys? He might. You should probably do it. You should probably fight it yourself though, rather than auto resolve. Oh man, where did these guys come from? I didn't even see them. Man, the SK has a lot of dudes. <sighs> he has so many dudes. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh man! Oh shoot! Goals. And he just got hit by. <laughs> no. No. No, he... that's. Uh, or was that an SK cast? I, I thought think that it's was an a... SK cast. No, a merciless strength is his thing where he gets no, plus one attack. I know, but this this whatever. ice effect right here is it? I think. Whatever. Doesn't he have like a billion frost resist? Or he like can't move? That's I see what's going on. Yeah. Okay, so he's got to go here, and then he's going to command himself to keep. I going. think that's a good idea. Is he still slow? Oh, he is still, still slow. That sucks. Okay. Well, uh, well, those guys are gonna throw boulders, so I'd get, I'd move him up anyway, because okay. they're all gonna throw boulders anyway. Okay. So we'll fireball. Yeah. Uh, where's a good? Um, what do you think? The guys in the back. Guys nah, in the screw front. guys in the back. I would. Yeah, I would do that one right here. Yep. Uh oh, CW called me out, and oh, this man. is uh, fair enough. Man, your fireball scrolls are just not getting it done. Yeah. Touch. What? Oh my goodness! Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, that happened to me. Man, his defense is awful. What is going on here? I th- I does he have these guys are just? I suppose I mean me. I mean triple trog units are pretty tough. Uh, does he now? The question is, does he have any like uh, health on kill? Oh my gosh! If he has I, health on kill, he might be okay, because you can go in there and, and sweep, or dwarven fury or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
you know, he doesn't have any health on kill. Although he did just murder a bunch of dudes. <laughs> so that part's good. Oh, can he last? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I he's got know. counter, which is good. Mm. Um, dodge. If you can heal. Oh, oh backswing. Back sw- Boulder, stop it. <laughs> stop. Oh, I he's not going to make hosed. it. Dang oh, it. And that city's owned. Oh, man. you got problems. Oh, is that going to trip Doomsday, actually? It might trip Doomsday because oh, he's... Uh, shoot. Because that's... Yeah, 25. Oh. Yeah, 25 is going to kill you. <laughs> so I just oh, lost. Lost by combat. Yeah, losing is fun. <laughs> is that what we were talking about earlier? I think that what was a hoot. we came to. <laughs> that was cool, though. I like the, uh, I like the like playing somebody else's oh, save. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it now. If you guys have a save that uh, you think is interesting or you want to watch Scott lose at, uh, send it in <laughs> and we'll check it out. Because uh, yeah. oh, that was cool. Oh, we got ending graphs in. Yep. Though, I think those have been in for a little while, actually. Yeah. But I am, a, and this is right. And you're a cheater. I am a huge cheater. Dirty, dirty, dirty cheater. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, Satoru oh, says man. watching somebody else lose is fun. So yeah. mission accomplished. Good. <laughs> Glad. Are you not entertained? Uh, so, no, CW did rightly call me out and say that I skipped his question about uh, using in battle area effect spells. Uh, so like fireball and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You can't target it on an on an obstacle, so you yes. can't like center a fireball. Yeah, on a tree trunk, which oh. is really annoying, in my opinion. No, it's a good opinion. Because that's yeah, something I, I feel like you used to be able to do that, didn't that get changed? I probably what happened was um, we probably fixed a bug where you could cast these things anywhere, right? Where it's oh. like, oh, we can. You know, like QA sends a bug. It wasn't checking for valid terrain or something. Yeah, so we're like, oh, okay, let's fix that and make sure that they don't cast on block tiles. But that also meant that you couldn't center area of effect. Yeah, there. so you might need yeah. a new function for like targeting area of effect, and then yeah. you go through and change all the area yeah. effect spells. We'll see. So, unless there's like an area effect class that you can just drop the new function. Yeah, it feels like we should be able to do something where. As long as there are valid targets in the air. Like, anytime there's a radius, right. just say, don't worry about what you're trying to tar- – you know, don't worry about the middle right. tile target. Just, expand, just worry about – Expand the, the what it's checking for to be in. Yeah, that, that might work, depending on how the function is written, oh I guess. Oh, my gosh. So now um, – So <laughs> – Black Smoked Max, uh, who is another longtime guy. We appreciate your support. Thanks for coming by. Uh, I know you cheated in this game, but is that one bug fixed in regards to that message? Yes. Bam. Done. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that you didn't have Drogon built to solo that fight, because I have totally built Drogons <sighs> that could solo that fight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. Okay. So that's... There was probably a pop-up here that was <coughs> warning me, but <laughs> I ignored it. Uh, you, you, you love your go down problem. here. You just love it. Man, it's freaking road bugs. There's, why is why is Merthrandra not connected via road? That's my question for you. I don't know. It's, Ask one of our coders called? that are on Gale Sift right now. <laughs> hey Oh, uh, I had right. to. I had to land one of those. Nice. Okay. All okay. Right. Let's see if I, I should be able to survive now. Uh, but we also have stuff to so burning axe. Um, Does he already have a burning axe? Physical if he attack he plus should. nine. Because that'll help. Yeah. Okay. I mean, check if he has or just make it. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently he doesn't. So her. No, he does. He does. <laughs> he does. We don't. We don't have an enchanted burning axe. Uh, oh yeah, I see. Okay. Well, this, Whatever. This and you just equipped the unenchanted one on him. That'll that'll probably help. <laughs> And you just cracked another. <laughs> what are you doing? I, oh I'm, get, I'm getting there. <laughs> okay, well, if you somehow recruit two more dwarves, uh, this is going to go great. I think some of the cha- the faction champs can use axes. I think like I, Flame Dude use axes I or something. I actually no, they're all um, they all have the weapon that they start off with. Oh, right okay. now, we had to make a we had to make a design call based on art pipeline stuff. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. So, so they don't get any weapon upgrades. Uh, or? no, they're all their upgrades are through the skill tree. Okay. I mean, they do have awesome skill trees. They have yeah. better skill trees. I feel like, generally speaking. Uh, enchanted burning axe. All time, right. Last time I got fire guy, he was hilariously overpowered. I loved him. He was the best. He had like some. He had like a nuke that was like a range of seven that like never got resisted. It did did like fifty <laughs> some damage. It was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Oh, he was he was lovely. My buddy. 
He was not the Sorcerer King's buddy. <sighs> Ring of Mastery. Uh, no, I don't no, even Drogon no. doesn't care about that. He doesn't that. need that. He needs he needs uh how oh, what is the freaking um, I need he needs body armor. He doesn't have any he doesn't need body armor. Okay. I thought there was a health from kill in chance or craft or something that you could do. Let's find out. Let's. Is that, uh, just, a, is that just a Tandis <laughs> skill? Boots, 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 I shirt, chain. Something. I'll make a chain. Oh, a chain. Uh, <laughs> chain shirt. Okay, let's make chain shirts. Equip that on our buddy, and then let's go in and do some inventory. Drogon. Can't come. There we go. So he's actually pretty hooked up. He just, I mean, physical taking, attack bonus. What? Um, he was taking a lot of damage. I mean, he was getting hit pretty yeah. hard. Mana from kills. Mana from kills. You should definitely put on him. Um, man, you got twenty-two mana berries. Oh my goodness. You weren't kidding. He does have a ton of. Uh, he's yeah. He's ready to go. No health on kill. No health on kill. I may. That must have been a book. It might have been a book thing, or I might just or be wait, thinking wait, of the Wait, wait, is that skill. it? Is this it? Health regeneration? No, there's health regeneration, which is strategic, and then tactical health regeneration right here. is tactical. Yeah, it's one per round. It's it's only it's only good if you cheat, basically okay. cheat by stacking up a ton of initiative. Okay, so what do you think? Mana from kills? I have three slots. Uh, so mana from kills or initiative right off the bat. We got lodestones and... Could give him initiative. Initiative is good. Oh, yeah. The, I forgot. Yeah, oh, Cedarwood's Cedar still plus three. Well, yeah. Just stack him up with that and win then. Oops. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. That's an annoying thing, too. How it goes back to the top yeah. after you add something. Yeah, nuts to Fix that. that. Bug it. Fix it. Somebody fix it. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will, you know what I'll be doing is I will be adding pages to the Gelsiv wiki, which will be uh, okay. launching shortly. Um, okay. So here we go. Looks, They're going to attack. Really Oh boy! Oh, okay. We knew that. So All right, we're gonna give this one more shot. Look at that! Wait, 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 wait. I put. There's something going on here, man. Uh, Alstein said earlier in the chat that it's uh, been a bug since like the elemental days oh, with summoning no. and teleporting and all that. So. Lucky you. Now, well, you get to. He, at he least is. He, he is. Gets to go okay, first. Okay. So that part's good. Okay. So get up there and get it done. Bam. There you go. That's what I call murder. Okay. <laughs> That's what everyone calls murder. That's a good murdering right there. <laughs> there <laughs> was, we go. That was okay. a good solid murdering. <laughs> well done. Man, he's still just getting trucked by those trogs, though. Yeah. At least they're shooting at the archers for now. Okay. So, are. yeah. Atta 36 attack. Oof. It's those groups, man. They're yeah. just Yeah, the yeah. trogs are rough. Oh man. I hear the so thing much that stinks I, there's here. so much screaming coming out of these speakers. <laughs> yeah, the your local volume is really high on that uh on that headphone. It's fine. You don't have to mess okay. with it. It's fine. All right. I mean, so I can hear it from across the I'm so I'm kind of screwed. You're a little it screwed. Seemed. You might be more than a little screwed. Okay. Oh, thanks geez. thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> this is a wee fun. Hey, I, I do what I can. Shale strike. Uh, this. Hey, if you're fighting archers, it's pointless. Cleave. Okay. You um, can't get anywhere, though. Why can't you get anywhere? Is it? Did that uh, spell cast go off? Or, or did he get crippled or something? Is there like a... Did somebody hit no, him with a special? Got, I think it's because... Yeah, what the heck? I mean, he's engaged, but he should be able to... Oh, no. no never mind. No, they are all covered. They're all in enemy Zoc. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Now. Okay, so what what should I do? This is where I uh, Death Ward scroll uh, suggested by Alstein. Ooh. Ilana says kill the boulder thrower. Yeah, Death Ward scroll. Good idea. Man, Thank though. you. Yeah, I didn't because I didn't realize I had that. Die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so at least I get yeah. two two hits to bat. Did you you didn't Man. do anything with the damage calc? Did you? No. Like it's there's nobody got a damage for added. No, because no, that was just no, a no. four unit thing. Come on, let me move. <laughs> Ugh. Well, you can cleave. I mean, his attack is crazy freaking high. That was a nice cleave. That was a nice cleave. <laughs> Man, these archers have really high initiative too, because like Drogon's is actually fairly high now. Yeah, he he gets to go twice here. It looks like so. Maybe that will be the. Uh... Maybe that will help. Oh, the other thing you don't have is he doesn't have, or you nerfed the um, 
Oh, what is going on with his axe? Uh, looks uh, like that's I'm guessing a death ward bug. A bug. Because he just got dropped into uh, Maya pose there. Yeah. Shh. Oh, command and then go wreck them. Yeah. 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 No, that's a good. I call. hate you all so much. Yeah, as well oh, as you should. Man. It's okay. You can cleave. Two turns left. Okay. You can cleave. Don't worry about it. No, oh, I already cleaved. Oh, okay. Shale Strike has turns. the same icon. Why does Shale Strike have the same icon? That's know. terrible. Uh, or does it? Does Shale Strike hit an area though? Because it might still be worth it. If you can, if yeah, he's gonna kill him. I think, isn't he? Or uh, not? It does. It does something. Oh, but they're at the back of the battlefield, so they can't oh, get knocked back yeah. or anything. So okay. that's fine. Whatever. Okay. Oh, so, I got this though. There you go. So. Oh Did no. They? They might be. Oh no. Oh no. We might have found another bug. Man, we are. Uh, we We're are finding really lots of bugs. Done. This is uh, very rewarding. <laughs> not in the sense that I would have liked. <laughs> okay, so guys on shale strike tiles. Are, can I are, even hit them? Can you? you? It probably won't let you target them because they're on obstacles. Because they're on obstacles. So it's not valid terrain. Funny. All right. Well, nor, I mean, ish. It's a, it, it is definitely a... Uh, okay, but they're moving off. Okay. Whatever. Because they don't, cause you, they don't check like, their taking source this, tile. Or no, anything, we're taking this so. game back to the store. I'm just <laughs> we're going to refund. <laughs> um, man. I mean, he's not dead yet. Yeah, he's still going. I thought they going. had a cooldown on their Hurl Boulder. See, he wouldn't have done that in my build. It's actually... That was a pretty good move because it gets him, gets him farther away from the archers. So oh, it yeah. Wasn't a bad yeah. move at all. Yeah. Oh, they are just whittling him down, though. They have so much initiative. Okay, what is going on? Oh, there was there was an SK cast. Nice. I'm, I'm glad to see that. Oh, heal. My, well, how much is it going to do? Ten per ten plus three. So we have two or three shards. So it's like nineteen. And That'll give me probably, another turn. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you got to do something. Oh. And he did that again. Yep. Oh, pass. six. Oh, command is back up though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and cleave, but I can't get to any of them. Okay, I'm going to just heal my guy. And he gets no. another turn. So it's not it's not over. Oh, I will. Oh, you could, should totally crush it. Well, check the stats on it. So see how much it's going to hit for. 99. Uh, 100. It's going to hit for 100. Is it going to hit for oh, more? Oh. Is it going to be overkill, though? Can you just hit him for with a regular attack and have it still hit hard enough? Uh, yeah, 48. I would, I would do that. Okay. If you roll... Okay, okay, right. you're right. Good call, good call. I mean, you had the possibility of... Okay, their spell somehow got interrupted from standing in the shale strike, oh, I'm guessing. Oh, man. Put your armor. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, we might be bugged. Yeah. Because they're... I think Sorcerer King is trying to cast he's something. He's trying to cast something. And he can't probably because, because they're on... Yeah, because he's probably like trying to target on them, uh, but it's returning. Okay. I, I'm going to have to be at the yeah. mercy of... Yeah. Oh, you probably get through it at this point, though. No, I mean, oh yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. Oh man, you got a gajillion experience for it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So shale strike bug though. That's uh, yeah. That was shale something. strike. <laughs> okay. All so right. how do I even write that? So well, the problem was normally they'd get knocked back by shale strike, but because they were up against the edge of the arena. Let's see. I'm guessing is what happened, but they because they were up against the edge of the arena, they didn't get knocked back, so they got stuck in that shale strike tile, which had an obstacle put on it. Oh man! Probably they should probably knockback should just check. I didn't get any of these <laughs> words right. Oh, jeez. Charles. <laughs> Charles awesome. Strickle. <laughs> Funny. So I'm okay. guessing what I think the ideal. It, uh, solution would be if shale if knockback because there's a bunch of things that cause knockback i think and i don't think yeah, it's just yeah. like shale strike the knockback <coughs> should check to see if there's a valid knockback talent if there's not pick a random direction and kick them that way yeah just the, just keep the picking closest a, yeah. yeah keep picking a random direction until they get knocked that they way. should not yeah they should not end up because okay. then you get like it's like it's like playing pinball right it's like you knock yeah them yeah and hit the back wall okay and bounce I'm, back off i'm cool and, with that it'll be great uh, all right <laughs> Super advanced. All right. Okay. Uh, Gilmoy says that the Sorcerer King should be submitting that bug report, actually, uh, rather than rather than yourself, since it was his spell that was bugged. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's <laughs> Black Smoked Max says the SK Rage quit. That's what we'll call it. That's what we'll call it an SK Rage quit. Yeah. 
not a bug working as intended no worries there's um i, I think and i think these oh, guys God. are going right here doing? let's actually do um one more turn you want to do one more all right all right uh I, I mean i'm not gonna put too much thought into it. i'm just gonna watch over here oh is that a new dwarf tree welcome to the team okay Wow! I have a. Fa- I think that what happened. I think they got to that shard. Oh, and it was just better. Like, well, it says lost by conquest. So isn't lost by conquest losing your last city? It's right now. There is no like lost by. There's no differentiation between a lot of the different lost types. Oh, we should have differentiation <sighs> between the lost types. We should here. Bug need different. Perfect. <laughs> Gilmoy says, if the knockback fails, have the unit die. We don't have ring outs in Sorcerer King. <laughs> Although I have juggled many I have juggled many an opponent out of the ring for sure. Uh Soul Cal or excuse me, Soul Blade was actually really brutal about ring outs because the arenas were really small. And it was like you really had to watch that. Also, I played way too much Soul Blade. <laughs> that was my jam, dude. Like PS PS1 era, like I played a lot of PS1. I play. I was hooked on um, Killer Instinct. They had a really oh cool... god, Killer Instinct was so bad. No, 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 no. Yeah, but <laughs> they had a really cool combo system where you could basically customize uh, endless combos if you knew the systems. Oh yeah, it was yeah, kind of yeah. neat. No, it was, that it was, was kind of delicious for sure. Okay, so oh, former peasant is under attack after I lost. Oh, let's let's just see what the heck. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. This is this was the most bugtastic uh, stream I think we've had yet. That was it was pretty good. But again, internal build, no QA. Yeah, that that's what happens. So cross version save. Yeah. Kilmoy says that it sounds like his, the Moonwalk Kludge in Sanctum. Are you a Sanctum dev? Because that's pretty cool. Because uh, I actually interviewed those guys back in my previous life, oh. um, and played some multiplayer with them when I was reviewing. I think Sanctum. Two. You're you're the friends at your previous life got to uh, do a whole bunch of. Uh, Disney Infinity 3.0 stuff that I was jealous oh, of. Oh, yeah. Star, the, the, the whole Star into, Wars. Uh, uh, the boys launch. pretty into Infinity? Disney Infinity? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My kids my kids love it. I, lo- nice. I, I got hooked, and I did not want to. I did not <laughs> want to. And dear God. Um, I think that we should uh, thank um, Exterminate. Ex- Exterminate. Exterminate. For the save game. Yes. For the save game. Much. And I think he's going to be posting his playthrough of uh, that that map um sometime this week so we'll drop a link uh so you guys can check that out it's been a fun let's play um with a tragic ending (laughs) so (laughs) and we couldn't we tried so hard to save it man but we just couldn't do it yeah giveaway says that he was amazed that i recognized sanctum dude i was a pc editor for 10 years of course i recognize sanctum (laughs) uh but anyway no it's all good those guys i believe if i'm not mistaken those guys made goat simulator and then and now are swimming. They're in, just. I assume that they're swimming in money vaults. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. <laughs> they're they're Scrooge McDuck in it. Yeah, daily. for sure. Because man, Gold Simulator sold some copies. I just saw they're doing like a, a some zombie. For... They're doing a zombie goat simulator now. Oh yeah, there was like a, a weird like zombie skin. Yeah. Fight or a zombie yeah. DLC or something. That's right. Yeah. No. So for anyway. their money for their other vault. That's right. All right. <laughs> Because uh, zombie survival, seriously, we need to make Z- Sorcerer King a zombie survival game. <laughs> we'll make all the money if we can get like some kind of like voxel graphics. <laughs> just change it over to voxel graphics. Make it zombie survival. Yeah, all of the money. I'm telling it's, you, oh. screw this RPG 4x no. thing. It no, we're gonna, we're gonna send Sorcerer King back to the drawing board, Scott. <laughs> oh, You're gonna be working on this for another three no. years. <laughs> we're so close. <laughs> We are so close. All right. Don't bring any of that to the big meeting. <laughs> oh, just I am your nemesis. I love it. All right. All right. Anyway, thank you for joining us on the stream this week, everybody. Uh, we got Galsiv closing in on us, so keep an eye on that. Uh, we just announced the winner of the faction contest for Galactic Civilization 3, which is a sweet, uh, like, supercomputers controlling organic the organics faction there's some cool game rules for it um so you should definitely check that out you can download that from the faction pa- or faction from the faction contest page uh you can actually download that faction import it into your game he won like dough didn't he yeah he, thousand bucks oh thousand bucks and we're putting awesome. him into the game as a minor very cool uh so it's pretty awesome so uh so we got that going on what else is going on servos in, is now in founders alpha so if you're interested in uh, customizing your team of giant robots and fighting an RTS. You can play Servo, which is cool. Um, 
you can, if you want to help us out, what you can do is you can write reviews of our games on Steam if you feel that we are worthy of being reviewed well. Um, that is a huge, huge thing that we love. We love, we love. So anytime that anybody takes the time to do that, we really appreciate it. Um, Alstein is saying that we should include some Age of Wonders 3 type expansion things in expansions for Sorcerer King. Uh, my love for Age of Wonders is no secret. Uh, so I will definitely... You have an advocate on the inside for that, for sure. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, that's it. I'm going to cut the stream. We're going to go do more... Uh, I'm going to go do more Galsim things and work and things. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, thanks again for coming. We'll see you next week. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific... Or, excuse me, 10 a.m. Eastern. Off-World Trading Company. Friday, 3 p.m. Galsim 3. Galsim 3. The final, final er, stream? The final dev stream. It's actually might not be the final stream. But it's oh, going to be the okay. final the beta four. stream. Yeah. Uh, so you get you to can see check that out on you Friday. get to see the panic in Paul Boyer's eyes. Oh, Paul! <laughs> Paul's doing all right. You know. I think Paul's holding it together better than <laughs> I would be. Possibly better than I actually am. Mm. Uh, but he's been. Uh, he's They've been, been busy. The boys have been, been busy, and it's busy. looking great. So. It